In this tutorial, we will cover deactivating a card within the DNA Fusion system. We will start by selecting the Personnel Browser from the standard toolbar. The Personnel Browser houses all the cardholders that have been entered into the system. We will start by locating the cardholder's record. Once the cardholder's record has been located, double-clicking on the cardholder's name opens the record. You can also right-click on the cardholder and select the Properties item from the resulting menu. Once the cardholder record opens, we will see that there are three main personnel tabs, Employee Info, Employee Info Page 2, and the Card tab. If the workstation has been set up as an ID badging station, we will see the ID badging tab as well. From here, we will select the Card tab to access the card information. We could simply uncheck the Active Card checkbox to deactivate the selected card. You can also deactivate a card by selecting the Disabled option from the Card Type drop-down. Once the Disabled option is selected, a Y field appears. The list of disabled reasons can be customized to meet your needs. In order to save the record, we'll right-click in the record and select the Update option. Clicking the plus sign next to the cardholder's name will display the cards associated with the cardholder. A grayed out card number indicates that the card has been deactivated, while the red card indicates the card type is set to disabled. Let's go ahead and close the cardholder's record. Another means for deactivating a card is to simply right click on the desired card and select the deactivate option from the context menu. We can see that the card number is now grayed out, which indicates a deactivated card. The card color remained the same since we did not set the card type to disabled. As we have demonstrated, there are various ways to deactivate a card. However, the trick is finding the method that meets your needs. Thank you again for joining us and we look forward to seeing you at the next session.